Hello, welcome to Woodlawn Tracking. It's a wet day here in Ohio. I hope you all are doing well. Today we're going to talk a little bit about truth and are we being divided and what's down the pipe? What's going to happen? Where are we at? Where are we going? And are we being lied to and inipperated? Um, of course I want to give a shout out to Integrated Preparedness Steve Smith over there. If you've not checked out his books, uh, the Stone Mount series of books, they're great books. His last one it was just an excellent book, as all the whole series. So I urge you to uh, check out the Stone Mount series and his channel. His channel goes into a lot of talk about stuff like this, uh, what's going on, how to look at it. He's a very wise guy, so I check you. I would recommend you checking out Integrated Preparedness and his books, the Stone Mount series. It'd be a fun read and good read for you. Um, what is truth? You know, as a devout Christian and an American that believes in the Republic, not communism, we'll get into that in a little bit, the Bible, what the Bible says, the Constitution, state and federal, it's truth. That's what you base your life off of. Problem we have now is people aren't basing their lives off of anything. And they think they know truth and they're so smart because they have a degree or they have this or they have that. How many, I bet you all know, how many, how many of you guys know people, their life is just a freaking train wreck. You look at them, you're like, whoa, but of course you talk to them and they don't think their life's that bad. Somebody else's life is always worse than theirs. But you're like, man, dude, you ought to take a look in the mirror. I mean, I think we all have been guilty or we all know stuff. It's because you're not basing what success is. Problem we have is with big tech, big business and all this going on that the fake news is huge. I mean I've argued with people over if the Holocaust in World War II was real or not but because they saw stuff on YouTube and tricks and stuff and videos and all that stuff they've been programmed not to believe it and that's what they do and so it's how do you reason with people like that you know and it's because they've been programmed so because they didn't have value in like being spirit filled being a true christian and understanding letting god show you the show you the way and because the bible says the truth will set you free so God will reveal the truth and give you common sense. I think a lot of people don't have common sense because God took it from them because they're not following God and they're off in la la land. And we all know that, we all see what's going on. And when you don't base your value or your society off of the constitution, federal and state, and everybody does what they want. I mean, it's just like how many people you know uh, will say, let's use gun control, I don't think you should be able to own one of them black rifles. Okay, that's your opinion, You're right. you have a right to your opinion. We all have a right to opinions here. But when you start taking, trying to take laws and action to take away my gun rights, now that's going into control and communism and other stuff because what gives you the right to take away my God-given rights and the Bill of Rights? Just wanna know, what gives you the right to take it away from me? You don't have the right. You, you, can, you don't have to own a gun, but you have no right to take mine from me. If you don't like it, you need to amend the Constitution and do the one way that is possible to do it. Oh, what, that's too difficult? Oh, the Constitution's outdated? No, it's not. It's to keep morons like you from taking away my rights, even though we're doing it, because they stand for nothing. If you look at the, all these so-called protests going on, they stand for nothing. All they're out there is for their is for themselves. They believe in nothing. Most of them are felons and lawbreakers and all they want to do is cause havoc and eat because they're evil. Because they're evil. And of course it always happens at night because evil comes out at night. I mean what the point now basically unless you believe in the Constitution and believe in the values of America and believe in the Republic then I guess you're a communism then. Because that's most of these people uh, saying they believe in even though they don't know what they believe in and they believe call it something else but it's communism it's control you know it's kind of like 
we're getting to the point now where we're even losing this the ability to have free will or choice. I mean, it's people might think they have choice. It's just like the magician that gives you a deck of cards. Pick a card. Pick any card. Well, you might think you have choice, but you don't. He's giving. He's telling you what you can pick any of these cards. You can't pick the cards over there, but you can pick any of these cards. So we are fast going down that. It's because of a big of it. A lot of it is because people don't have value. They're not spirit filled. They don't understand history. They don't bother to look for the truth. They don't bother to think for themselves. And they're too busy on the computer, Twitter, YouTube, all this other bull crap that teaches them that that is designed to program them into believing what communist is, communist is and what big tech to believe in making them into pawns. But of course, trying to argue with them is. It's tough, you know what I mean? Because they don't, they don't want. Because what you're saying is jack opposite. Even though what they're saying, what you're saying is jack opposite what they believe. Even though what they believe makes no sense, it can never happen. You can prove it if you really start pulling out an old book and reading and looking, or you start looking at facts. They don't, they don't want the truth. They believe what they believe. And so we have a big divide coming here. And uh, let's just face it, gentlemen. And ladies, unless we fall underneath God and the Constitution, federal and state, we have a, we will be divided, and there will be some form of civil war. We'll fragment into other countries. Look at the Soviet Union; it fragmented into what nine, ten, eleven, something. I'm not for sure. Ninety-two when they broke apart. If we don't get a hold of this, that's where we that's where we are going, and the violence won't stop. And, and you don't want to see violence like this on our streets. Trust me, you don't want to see violence like this on our streets where people are killing people. And we're already seeing a taste of it. Unless we unite under the Constitution and the Republic, uh, it'll all be over. And uh, the people that don't want to unite underneath it or don't want to stay complacent. Complacency to evil is evil. You need to go slay the dragon. You gotta stand up for what you believe in. You know, you gotta stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Remember that song? I think it's from Aaron Tipton, I think who who was uh, Aaron. Aaron Tipton was the guy that wrote that in the 90s song about it. I mean, but that's where we're at. Uh, you know, the whole thing of this coronavirus. What a joke. What a joke. This mask. We're all face covering to protect you. Bull crap, you know. Yes, there is certain ones that will protect you, but just to let anybody wear anything, it doesn't do nothing. All it is is control. They're programming you to control you. Plus, when you the oldest trick in the book, when you fight an enemy, you need to dehumanize the enemy to make the soldiers kill the enemy. It's done ever since the beginning of war and the beginning of man. They always do it. Why do you think you call them gooks, dinks, all that? Uh, is because they need to dehumanize them, de I'm sorry, dehumanize them to make them non human so they'll kill them. When you put a mask on somebody, basically you take away the face, and that's what people recognize people by or to see that they're human or not. It's a big psychological thing. There's been many uh, YouTube channels talk about it and other stuff. So when they take away the face, that person is not, in psychology, most people don't think that person is human. So you can be more violent and more upset and it divides us more. So, like I said, you have a better chance, if you're 65 and under, dying on the way to work, not from work, to work than dying of corona. I mean, and uh, all it is is basic control and programming and all these tests that they do, like here in Ohio, I know for a fact when people are being tested, sometimes they get tested once or twice. If they come back positive, they get tested, uh, they'll be tested again to conform it. Well, each test goes down as one test. So they have all these names of all this. Plus, if you have a flu shot or there's different different things that will set this off that you might not have the virus and they're all that's positive they don't know this make a general test heck our own governor came back positive and 
Uh, then all of a sudden they did more tests and he said now he's negative. Mm-hmm. I, I just don't think he wanted to meet President Trump. That's what I think. Anyways, he's up there. Our house here in Ohio has brung impeachment stuff up against our Governor DeWine, or as he liked, to, we think of him as King DeWine. DeWine. Um, uh, so, if you live in Ohio, write into your House representative and tell him you want to impeach him because he took all rights away and he broke the law that he couldn't do and broke orders, not law, taking away all us Ohioans rights over nothing and cost us $330 million in debt and everything. I'll go on and on. Horrible. Unless we get the state back open and get things common sense going, Ohio will be in a mess. So if you live in Ohio, Proust impeaching him because he did bad things for Ohio. Also, one more thing. Freedom, you don't get it unless you work for it. Also, people don't naturally know freedom. You have to be taught or be educated on freedom. And that's one thing they're trying to take away from us. I mean, let's look at the Bible. Moses and the people, and they left Egypt. He gets them out there. God performed all these miracles and what? They get out there and they get mad because they're hungry. And all of a sudden people want to go back because more or less the food or the grub or the mess hall is better in Egypt than out here. So they want to go back for an easier life, they think, than to have freedom. And that's what we're fighting right there. People do not understand freedom. Freedom is something you have to be taught. Like in Iraq, basically, you know, you freed all them people. They didn't know what to do, uh, more or less, because... Uh, they won't even dictatorship. And this has happened in any dictatorship when the people get the freedom. Unless it's like all revolution where we have God fearing men and they did it and it was God inspired and God led it and we got our freedom and the people understood freedom is the only way to walk. So we need to teach freedom. And people, but of course we're teaching communism in our schools now and everything. So, uh, and they don't even understand what it is. So basically this is a fight between the Republic and communism. Do we want to be Americans or do we want to go, hello comrade? So more or less, I urge everybody to prepare, get spirit filled, get educated, and see what happens. But be ready to defend what you believe in. Remember, time may go on, but your life may not. Enjoy.